Tres Leches Cake? No, Tres Leches Cupcake made by the culinary students at Doña Ana Community College. Mm. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me now is Chef Cecilia Castro. Chef Castro. Hi. No, that's really good. You don't expect a cupcake to be that moist and delicious, and it is truly Big surprise in the little yeah, I, package. Yeah, it really is. It really is. You're very proud of your students. You've I got am a very proud of my students. Fabulous program here. Tell us about this, which is really New Mexico's premier culinary institute. How does it go over the two years? Well, we are a two-year program for semesters. They start out in what we lovingly call the Hell's Kitchen, where they inevitably burn themselves, cut themselves, and learn the very basics of everything. And then they move along in the program, and they graduate to me uh, in our savory and baking and pastry kitchen. And so you're the intermediate professor. I am the professor. intermediate professor. Okay. Okay. I shape them up, and then I ship them on back to my uh, co-instructor, Chef Tom Drake, and he takes them out into the senior level and sends them on their way, and we say goodbye and graduation and send them on their life. That's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so from Hell's Kitchen, which is the basics, and mm -hmm. of course, um, now do these students have to be already good in the kitchen, or can they just be like, I don't know anything. They can be as confused and lost, but have a passion for the food and the industry, and we go from there. We teach them everything from sauces and soups and knife cuts to time management and what the difference is between braising and making broiling and grilling and all of in between. Wow. Okay, so your kitchen classroom, which is really a gigantic facility, mm -hmm. where did Doniana get this beautiful facility? I mean, it is truly first class. It took a lot of, this program has gone on for 10 years. Uh, obviously, people in the community have done a lot of donations, and uh, we really put a lot of effort into building the program to what it is now. So it's just been a lot of work and hard dedication and having the vision and going Amazing. from there. So savory is your department, and mm -hmm. of course, the baking yes. department. So what did the students learn in the intermediate phase? In the intermediate phase, we focus on refining the basics that they learned in their first semester, at least in the second part. Um, they do a lot of knife skill exams. They We focus on the precision of it. We up the difficulty on recipes and we move along the program in that way. This is very hands-on. So this isn't, uh, I'm at home watching you on camera going, what? I don't have a kitchen like this. Everybody's all hands on deck. Everybody's all hands on on deck. And the students really did this from scratch. This is delicious. All from scratch. There's no box here. So what made you decide, I want to be a chef? I mean, that's a, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's a career of work, like it medicine. Is. Yeah, um, I've always enjoyed cooking and baking and, and I didn't realize it was going to be my career until I found a chef that became my mentor and kind of made me realize that this is what I was meant to do. Um, I discovered that it was something that I had a great passion for and he, you know, he gave me two options in life. He said, you're going to culinary school or you're going to go work in Florida with a friend and learn to work your way up a kitchen. And I said, wow. That sounds a little scary. I'll go with culinary school. <laughs> and it's paid off. It's been it's paid off. I've worked from the uh, Pacific Coast to the East Coast and everywhere in between. So. I love it. Chef Castro, thank you so much. Thank you. More information about this incredible program, visit the website and enroll. Mm. I'll have a little more if I don't. Please do. <laughs> I've had plenty. <laughs> you feed me well. <laughs>